Hey everyone, this is Ross, and today I'm doing an update on the Biomotion Filter Media, uh, just because some people have been asking about it. But first of all, I'm going to explain the new um, layout of the tank. So a few weeks ago, I made a video about changing the layout of the tank, and uh, in that video, I said I'd probably be changing a few things around. And after a week or two, I just decided it looked too crowded. Uh, because I had that piece of bog wood in over there and it just looked too messy uh, so I decided to take it back out um, so there was really no point of us putting it in but that's okay I like to try out new things and see how it looks and there was no harm done so yeah I've took that piece of bog wood out and I decided just to rearrange the plants to see how I liked it and the main problem I had in the tank uh, before I changed it around initially uh, was this piece of bog wood over here um, I had this big piece of bog wood over there and just emptiness over here and for me that kind of outbalanced the tank uh, kind of made this side look heavier than that side so what I did is I moved the Indian red lily from this side over to here and as you can see uh, it kind of balances the tank out a bit better uh, I'll probably show you this tank when it gets dark just to show you the, the plants a bit better uh, so there's no glare on the glass, but uh, I think that Indian red lily does balance the tank out a bit better um, Before it was just all bare here. There was just a few crypts and I decided to move pretty much all the crypts uh, to the center of the tank Because uh, I've got quite brown crypts So I thought I'd make a good transition from the bogwood into the Ludwigia and things like that So I put it in the middle and it just kind of blends the wood out a bit better over here in the back I put some Ludwigia uh, just because before it was hidden behind the bog wood in that corner uh, so I've just put it at the back of the tank and I think it looks really nice it's doing well taking off uh, the star grass I had around the base of the bog wood over here and I've just kind of cut it up into small bits and because it was growing really well it's probably one of the fastest growing plants in my tank I just cut it up and planted it in little bits and I'm trying to make a carpet of that. I've got some over here as well. So that's probably doubled in size uh, since I got it. So it's a really good plant, very fast growing. Uh, you might actually have to trim it uh, once a week just to keep it under control. The Richa Fluitens has been growing really fast too. I've had to take that off a rock and um, retie it because it was kind of coming loose. Uh, so when you tie it on your rocks, just make sure you tie it down tight. And I've got some spare Richard Fluitons over here, uh, which I'm thinking about using in an old tank, in the old fighting fish tank. I'm thinking about putting it on this table and having a kind of Iwa gummy set up. I think that's how you see it. Uh, but I'm looking at in the proper plant substrates like uh, a mano soil, different things. Uh, people have been reckon, recommending fluval stratum. Uh, I know Mike Milky uses it, so I'm looking into that, and um, yeah. So now I'll just give you an update on the Biomotion filter media in the filter. Okay, so this is my filter cartridge. It contains the biological media. And let's open it up and have a look. So this is the media I received with the tank, and you can see it's quite brown. And that's the bacteria that settled on it, so that's quite good. And this is the Biomotion filter media. I think I received this about four or five weeks ago. Uh, so it hasn't been in the tank that long, but you can see there's some dark splodges on it there. And that's the bacteria, so that's really good. And it seems to be working. Uh, I can't really tell what's happening inside, because apparently it's got a much larger surface area uh, on the inside. But uh, let's hope it's doing its job. It seems to be doing its job. Uh, I want to say thank you to Pond Guru for that. He sent us that about four or five weeks ago. So yeah, that's working fine. Just for all of you who were asking. A lot of people have been asking for an update on the pond. Uh, I'll try and make an update video for you probably this week or next week. I've just got exams every other day for the next two weeks. Uh, so that could be problematic. But yeah, I'll try and make a video for you this week or next week. Um, I'm planning to dig the pond deeper over the summer holidays, so you can look forward to that. Uh, all the fish are doing fine in the pond, and I moved the baby goldfish out into the pond um, about a month ago. 
uh, because one of them died. So I've only got two now. It died of swim bladder disease, like like the rest of them. Uh, so I decided instead of keeping them in a small tank, I might as well put them out in the pond and hope for the best. And they're still alive. They seem to be doing well. And they're not small small enough to be eaten by the fish. So hopefully they do fine over the summer. Uh, so that means I've only got one tank now. People were asking uh, for a tank tour. Just all my tanks. I've only got one. So in case anyone's confused about that, this is my only tank now. Uh, so yeah, I'll be making a video of me digging the pond deeper. Um, I'm planning to grow some plants outside this summer. I'm going to be doing it Dustin's fish tank style. <laughs> Uh, I might try dirt again. Um, just I've got some pea gravel left over because I got some pea gravel with this tank. Got a huge bag, so yeah, I might be doing uh, some dirted tanks outside and just grow easy stuff like jungle val and uh, star grass and see how it goes. So thanks a lot for watching. I might be doing a contest when I reach 3,000 subscribers. Uh, so I want to thank you all for. Um, just been subscribed for so long and commenting on more, all my videos. Bye.